It's rock and roll, Libra style. Hello, Libra. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, my Libra friends. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. You know I do. Thanks for hitting the old like button while you're thinking about it. Just reach out right there. Bam. Thank you so very much. Hit that old I like mic button. Libra. Big shout out for me to all my many, many Libras that have blessed me over the years. Libra, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. Mwah. Thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I appreciate it all. Large or small. I'm going to do some freestyle tarot around here. You know, the old fashioned kind. You can see. You can see the story unfold yourself. One of those tarot readings for you tonight. These are about relationships, home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. They can also talk about love. I got some love cards. I do got my tarot Illuminati. Going to freestyle tarot with that too tonight. I got my fur coat. Going to give you a full spread. This is the Mystic Moon Oracle and... A couple of major arcanas from the very, very beautiful Starman, the 22 from the Starman, to top off your, your reading tonight here, my Libra friends. A uh, quick reminder, I got a meet and greet coming up Sunday, 23rd. Still got a couple of days to plan a road trip, if you would like. Um, tickets are going fast, though. I will, I will let you know that. Thank you, everybody, that's grabbed a ticket. Um, it's going to be a beautiful Palm Coast, Florida, at um, our metaphysical center here, Vedic Moons. Um, there's a link in my description area. A lot of times I put one in the, in the comments, too. So you can go over there and look yourself, get your tickets, get a friend a ticket, all that kind of fun stuff. Got a DJ coming in. Got some catered food. Got some wine. I will be doing one-on-one uh, -on -one tarot readings with people. So if you like a tarot reading, that's a great time to do it at a meet and greet with old Ramblin' Mike. Got some door prizes. Got some raffles. You know, all that kind of meet and greet, fun stuff. Anyway, Libra, you know it's not going to be the same if you're not there. Anyway, hope to see you. June 23rd. Lovely, lovely Libra. Let's play some tarot. Let's play some tarot. See what's going on as we go into the month of June. June 2024. Already in the middle. The beginning of the middle, huh? Let's rock and roll. Libra. What's these cards talking about? Libra, babies. Let's go. What is going on? My lovely Libra. <laughs> Look at your overall, man. Read your overall ten pentacles. Oh, Lord. Hey, 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 what's going on with the collective, man? Let's, let's, let's get some ten pentacles going on around here. Huh? This is the tree of life. It's the coins. It's the coins uh, set up like the tree of life, right? There's our power couple over there. There's the hierophant right there. You know, this has got doggies, loyalty, money in the bank, uh, the little white picket fence, the big house, you know. <laughs> wow, Ten of Pentacles isn't overall. Okay, okay, let's go. Tell me more, tell me more, my Libras, my Libras. Oh, you need the Libra card up. Oh, dang it, dang it. Oh, yeah, thank you. So many things. Libra, I'm excited. We, we, we want your card up there with that Ten of Pentacles. Please forgive me. Let me get this right. All right, all right. Now we're back on track. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Libra, I'm leaving your Ten of Pentacles out here on the board. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Now we're tuned in. Now we're tuned in. <laughs> here we go. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is an overall. Well, uh, my single Libras, uh, that may be coming, that may be uh, changing soon. Who's this right here? There's a king that just showed up. I'm um, a king of swords. Huh? And the sun. And 
Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Oh, is that Libra right there? He looks so happy, Libra. Oh, hooty hoo! Hey, there's a king on here. You know, um, can be air in their chart. Can be male or female. I love all the kings. I love all the queens. This one here is smart. All the kings got entrepreneur energy. Smart, witty. Let's see what's going on around here, man. You got the sun. You got ten pinnacles. <laughs> you got a king. Oh my God! There's your there's your major arcana. Justice. You got justice coming in. You know that's that's things balancing out here for you, right? If things have been out of alignment, if if it's been raining outside. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun. Wow, see, it's right there, man. This declares an ending of a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. Two tens here. It's Libra, you cleared a cycle out. You cleared a cycle out. <laughs> Looks like it's just time to get happy around here. That's nine of cups. It's bells ringing. Bells ringing, whistles blowing around here. Nine of cups, a new world. I love your cards. Woo! Ooh, Libra. Completed a cycle. Wow, look at the change up around here, man. Ending a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. See the sun in there? I do. If you don't, it's right here. <laughs> it's right there. It's Libra. Hoo -hoo! Oh my goodness, Libra, and there's a king on here, or a queen. I like it, and a new world, an old cycle ending, and a new world coming in here for many, many, many of my Libras. Well, let's get another tarot deck out, huh? Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Summertime when the living's easy. Look at all this around here, huh? Huge cycle change. I saw it coming. I know many of you did too. Huge karmic cycle change. Um, again, I mean, it's Earth. A place where we live in these cycles. Sometimes there's cycles within cycles that only take a year or two. There's other cycles that may take five years, other ones 10 or beyond. And when we pass these cycle tests, we get to go into a new world. That's what's happened right here. This is a Libra that passed a bunch of cycles and is heading into a new cycle. Now, what happens for a lot of other people is that when we go through those cycles, be they one or two years or whatever, if they don't pass the test, those people have to go through the same loop. I'm reading for a Libra right here that broke the loop. Off to a new world. There's, there's a friend right there. There's a king. Could be a queen. I don't know. It's sitting by the sun. Sitting by justice. Sitting by nine cups in a new world. I'm really excited for you, Libra. The Libra I'm reading for around here. Oh, an emperor showed up. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, male or female, it could be could be Libra's energy, right? I'm just saying, because uh, this is like Libra seated in your power again. Can we do that? Can we do that? Libra seated in your power again. Uh, the old emperor got the armor on because they've been in the battle. But no longer in the battle. Look at them, they're just kind of chilling in the chair right there. And they are looking at a new world. But also, this is divine masculine energy. It showed up. Let's put him over there by that king. Let's put him over there by that king. Wow, judgment. Hmm. That's a rebirth energy. That's a Scorpio major arcana. That is uh, Archangel Gabriel traditionally with this tarot card. It is a rebirth energy right here. Huh, I wonder, I wonder uh, if this emperor that's showing up in your spread, I wonder if you know him. You may know him. You may know him, huh? Anyway, 
Oh yeah, you may know them. Three Cups is a card of celebration. It can be a card of meeting somebody new. It can be a card of reconciliation. It did come out with judgment. That's the one with the lovers coming up out of the grave. Anyway, anyway, it's got a beautiful star energy on there. Look at all this, man. You know, this beautiful energy showing up for my Libras. A lot of beautiful healing with the star card, Libra. Puts out any kind of hellfire that you may have been going through. Ten, I mean, Ten Swords is on here. My God. I don't even want to look at the betrayal that many of you may have experienced in the in the past. Let's go forward. On huh? Ten Pens is on here. New World. Nine Cups. Justice. Justice and judgment uh, for anybody that did you wrong. Healing for you. Healing for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story right here. For my Libras, there is a there is divine masculine on here, set by a King of Swords, the Sun, your major arcana, Justice, Nine Cups, the New World, uh, gorgeous man. It's a rebirth energy. I mean, you may know a new friend or whatever. Change, man. Look at this. This is the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It's about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation for my Libras. Look at that's the Sun coming up. The Sun keeps showing up in all these cards. That's the sun coming up between those towers right there. Right there, Major Arcana, the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. There's the sun right there behind those ten swords. You have definitely completed a cycle. And then here's the full-blown sun card for you one more time. Just can't show you enough. There's my lovely, lovely Libra rocking their nine cups. Hoo hoo <laughs> you got some bells ringing around here, man. You got a king. You got an emperor showed up with a star. Uh, happiness and joy and bliss. Uh, again, uh, with uh, three cups in this deck. You can see these young ladies. They all have their cups raised to the divine. They're celebrating life. But also, I want to point out that they're going up to another level right here. There's a stairwell behind them. They're leaving this level right here. And they're going up to a new level. That's what I see with my Libras right here. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. I got a beautiful Ten Pinnacles story right here. I cut right to Temperance as well. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, a new world, the sun shining. Temperance, can again, can be a reconciliation energy. But all in all, this is something that the gods have been working on for a minute. For my Libra, Ten Pentacles, man, the star, man, the sun, absolutely gorgeous. Huge transformational energy for you. I'm really, really happy with these cards that are coming out from my friends, man. Major, major breakthrough. Probably all around in your life, but there is, there is a king here. There is an emperor here. It's a beautiful, beautiful rebirth. Phoenix from its ashes energy for you. Outstanding. Outstanding. Let me see how many majors you did pull here. The world card, the sun card, the death card, uh, temperance, uh, the star. Uh, <laughs> I need two hands. Uh, judgment and an emperor. Seven cards. Seven major arcanas. The other, the other minors are ten pentacles. Nine cups, <laughs> a king, <laughs> uh, the, the closing of a cycle, ten swords. All right, I'm digging it for you, Libra. What we got right here, we call it breakthrough. Breakthrough in love and money. Here we go, man, here we go. Mystic Moon, Libra. Wow, what an appropriate card right here. Divine timing. It's got that beautiful royal purple right there. The divine timing has showed up. Oh, no wonder the star is here and the sun. And Gabriel and Michael. Libra. Give me one, give me one. Libra. Libra. Oh, Miriam came out. Wow. The 
It's going to be a pretty special union showing up here when Mary shows up, huh? Divine timing and Mary. Oh, Lord. Things that make an old tarot reader go, hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, and ascending. Okay. Here we go. Uh, there's one, two, fours right there. Ascending. Divine timing. Ascending. This is nice. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, man. And the sun and the sun showed up one more time in your card. That's four cards that have the sun on it, Libra. The balancing of scales. Justice again. Look at all this, man. Divine timing. And and what Mike talked about right here earlier. Cycles. Now. This is definitely completing a very toxic cycle and heading into another one, right? And uh, divine timing is in this as well, man. Wow, it's super exciting cards right here for you, Libra. Give me a love card for Libra, man. A beautiful cycle change right here. Phoenix from its ashes, the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. Heading to the land of ten pinnacles, it says, Libra. <laughs> My world dancer. Oh, romantic feelings. Oh, these feelings are real and we're exploring. Well, it's exploring time. <laughs> oh, it's after a season of, well, loving on yourself first. This, this card comes out more than any of my other cards. It is the key to a successful life. It's the one thing they never teach us. To love yourself first and foremost. When you do that, the the universe mirrors back on you. How many of you know we live in a big mirror? And what you pour into you is what's going to be reflected back into your life. I see a Libra that fell in love with Libra. And this looks like a love story that is absolutely reflecting back. On to many, many, many of my Libras. And you may know who this is. We got we got a bunch of angels flying around, huh? You may know who this is right here. Give me one more for my Libra. Did a successful cycle change right here. Libra, Libra, lovely, lovely Libra. Let your friends tell me. <laughs> I giggle because, well, my font on this card says, let your friends help you pack. Oh, soulmate, twin flame. It keeps coming out all night long. All my friends, man. Go ahead and express the love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discussing your feelings with each other. And this beautiful one for you, Libra. The romance of a lifetime. Has showed up here. on Libra spread. Wow, that is engagement as well. All right, all right, all right. Nice ship, man. Ten swords of ten pinnacles right here. Let's do it. Give me a major arcana on here for Libra, please. Lovely, lovely Libra. What do we got? <laughs> hair band. <laughs> oh, 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 the hair band showed up around here. Oh, Lordy, there's, there's, there's Libra and their friend, huh? The one that we've been talking about around here. Uh, maybe they're going to get up here and stand in front of the old hair pad. Maybe they'll jump the broom right here. True love story backed up with a hair pad as an overall. Oh, Lordy. Uh, you know, the hair pad is a five, so there have been some challenges, but I see you I see you two overcoming it with this terror spread right here. Whoever your friend is, Libra. Yeah, there's a beautiful rebirth. Phoenix from its ashes. Got the glory showing up. For the lovers. What a beautiful, beautiful lovers card right there, Libra. I like this one because there's only two lovers. There's only two lovers in that lovers card. You see them in the heavenlies. You see them reflected in the water. We got a hair band, we got a rebirth energy, and we got the lovers. All oh, my love, Libra. Hey, if you made it this part of the reading, thank you for your view. Appreciate it, you know what I do. 
Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have Libra, smash that subscription button right there, huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would, Libra. And uh, play some cards a few short days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real breakthrough around here, man, for my Libras. Hope to see you June 23rd, Libra. You know the party's not going to be the same if you ain't there. Anyway. All my love. Check the link. Bye for now. All right.